How to draw black hair one. Got to get my boy this clean edge up. Then I'm going to give him a little fade on the side. Bink, 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 bink. Make that gradation look real nice. Then I'm going to give my boy some ways. How to draw black hair too. All right, I'm finna give sis some freeform locks. They don't have a definite shape. They kind of do their own thing. Now I'm going to define the locks. Eater, 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 eater. Now add a little text in the locks, know what I'm saying? Then end it with some hair jewelry. How to draw black hair three. All right, so boom, I'm going to give them a curly fade. I would say this is more of a 4C hair texture, so it droops a little bit. It's kind of bouncy. But it still kind of stays in place. Little squigglies for the curls. Been that fade design. <laughs> How to draw black hair for it. Okay, for this style, I'm going to give her a little tight afro. A little curly afro. A little nice cute afro. Then I'm going to use a different brush to show the depth. Gave her a little part on the side. Then barrettes. Now ain't she darling. How to draw black hair six. This video is going to be about box braids. All right, I lay down my tube shapes. Then I make sure they have bumps in them for the braids. Then I fill them in. After that, I separate them with the outline. Then some texture. Then the baby hairs. I'm going to learn to get this right, so it's going to be a part two. How to draw black hair six and a half. Okay, after a lot of research and a lot of crying, I figured out a method that worked for me. First, draw three lines. Then draw the zigzag in the middle of the line. Then make those lines go all the way off to the side. Then add the bumps for texture. And by the bing, by the boom, you got yourself a braid. How to draw black hair eight? The cornrow fade. These indicators show where the braids are going. Then I taper the ends. Boop, 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 boop. Then make that fade look extra crispy. Show the parts in the braids. Then add the braid patterns and finish it with that bun. How to draw black hair 10. All right, we're going to be doing a braided loose ponytail style. The symmetry ruler helped out a lot with this. I enjoy using it to get a basic shape. You can also turn it off to make everything not seem so uniform. This is so helpful if you're trying to mirror intricate details.